So here we are right now at the Marginal. If you keep following this street all the way down that way, you'll actually end up in Kashkaj where I'm staying. But the reason we're here right now is because of Time Out Market, which is right there. We're going to go inside. There's a, basically uh, a bunch of uh, restaurants set up shop over there. Here we go. Uh, they set up shop over there and uh, you can sample the fairs of the city in one place instead of walking from neighborhood to neighborhood. And uh, it's quite convenient. Yes, sir. We just reached the main section of uh, Time Out Market and uh, you can see all the people having drinks. There's all kinds of shops set up. It's really something. I mean, this is a tourist attraction right here. And you can see Nor Jimash Bulls, these other send more cakes basically. And there's all the cakes that you can sample. Santini. The ice cream place. Oh, look at this. Look at all the sushi. Oh, uh, yeah, that's the. Uh, that's the. That's the. I might get some of this up. Pizza, whatever you need. One thing you'll notice is a variety, a variety of different stuff here that you can eat. Sushi, uh, Asian food, uh, to Portuguese food, to sweets. I mean, it's just all here. Michelin stars here too, Michelin star restaurant. Uh, chefs have their own stuff. I believe this in the Sop Suet is a Michelin star chef. And the menu looks good. Oh yeah, that's what I'm gonna get, something from here. Look at that. So there's a pro tip. We are coming from here, from the main, um, main area if you will and then if you turn in here where the bathroom is okay there's the bathrooms over there by the way I think there's only those bathrooms over there you can see there's another row of restaurants here don't miss these you can see all the seafood that they have over there the ham look at all that seafood oysters $1.90 per oyster. Yeah, it's a little expensive over here, but I mean, that's the price that you pay for being here and getting everything. Look at this thing. They all have their menus posted. The 
has been a huge, huge success for these uh, for these uh, restaurants. It's all the hams. Oh, you could get a, 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 a cone of just ham, a small one for 250 a big one for 5 bucks. It's, it's going to be good. Mishta with cheese. Mishta means mix. They'll call us. So there's the famous... Hey, there's the famous Papa Negra ham. Look at these desserts. Whatever your sweet tooth desires. Look at those little piggies. So I can I can go for the meal or sense you get? Sensi sage. Wow, look at that. Sensi sage. Wow. Sensi sage. Sensi sage. Sensi sage. Sensi sage. Vamos dar. Se é uma coisa mais ácida, mais fresca, ou com madeira. Se quiser uma coisa mais sobremesa, mais para um vinho do Porto. Obrigado. Bom moscatel. Bom moscatel. Com cerveira de Lisboa. Estás com cerveira de Lisboa. Basically, all the stuff that's in the end. Fish. Uh, I ordered something from... Uh, Leek sub sewer right there in the middle there, and I got the uh, the tiki salmon, which uh, with noodles. That's what that means in masa. So one one thing I noticed is this market really is catering to the uh, tourists. When I walked in here, I looked at it and I saw a um, uh, the seafood. Um, I saw an oyster for like one euro and ninety cents. That's really expensive. And then my bill came out to nine euros and fifty. I'm sure it's not going to be that big. So um, looking around here, you see um, all tourists. No, no, really, no Portuguese people come here because this is more catering to the uh, service aspect of things. If you really want to be uh, get authentic food and see authentic things, you really got to eat on the side streets and the little shops where six euros is going to give you a meal. Really, this in here, it's nice. It looks good. It did a good job. But this is something for the um, for the tourists. Um, should you check it out? Yes. Um, is it a lot of people on the internet? They hype this place, and it's nice, but it's not really. The food's good, but it's not authentic. And you don't see everyday Portuguese people eating here. Um, they're going to be eating out in the streets uh, in their little restaurants, corner restaurants, and not specifically here. The people that you see here that are Portuguese um, are mostly working here. So. Do try it out, but it's not something like I said that um, I would say is authentic. And uh, a lot of people hype it up on the internet, and I don't think there's anything to hype. Is the food good? Probably. Um, I'll find out soon. Um, but uh, be prepared to pay. I mean, it's crazy when I'm over here paying um, a one euro for a uh, beer, and then the beer, the same beer here, is three euros. It's a big difference. All right, so I went to get my food. This is my food right here. It's basically uh, lightly cooked salmon, some sesame seeds, or some kind of seeds, and uh, noodles. So um, this, all of this was nine euros uh, and a half. Um, it looks good. The food is, is good. Looks good here. But um, there's a few things. Like I don't understand why this table is so high. I'm like so high off the ground. And then there's no back into the chair. I almost fell backwards. So keep that in mind when you come here. But uh, other than that, uh, it's worth the experience. But it's a little expensive. How much is that? 350. That's right there. That's well, how much is down the street? Two or less. Not less than two. You can get a shirty suit and bread for one euro. This is regular price. So as I'm, I don't like paying regular prices. So as I'm eating this, when you go to the other places, it's cheap. Yeah. Expensive, that's when you stop paying. What I mean is, uh, it's very, very good. The, the cool noodles are delicious. You 
you want to think like they're $20 some dollars, $30 some dollars to play for them. Yeah. Yeah. The, the salmon is just cooked right, it's really, really good. So I'm kind of like glaze in here, it's sweet. Well, I'm enjoying this.